in to the Recap Rush Hour for Monday, March 6th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by Chevy Drive, Chicago.com, your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Folks, let's get right into it. The Bears, according to the NFL Network's very tapped in Rich Eisen, are down the road significantly, he says, on a blockbuster deal for the number one overall pick. Bears GM Ryan Poles told NBC's Peter King on his Football Morning in America column that dropped late last night that he knows he can get a 2024 first-round pick and a 2025 first-round pick in a deal for the top pick. The question he asked, this is Poles, do I trade the pick now or wait until closer to the draft to maximize the return? It now appears there are a handful of teams that want that deal done right now and are prepared to pay handsomely to do just that. Two NFL executives are telling multiple sources they do not believe the Houston Texans are willing to give anything up to move up to number one. That remains to be seen. Another GM is telling NFL sources, including Peter King, that he believes the Bears will trade with either the Panthers or farther down and outside of the top 10 to maximize the return. And finally, another GM source tells them they believe the Bears are trading with the Colts, who reportedly prefer Ohio State star quarterback C.J. Stroud. Now, I ran into an NFL coach in Las Vegas, and we had a great chat, and I asked him, who's the best quarterback in the draft? He said, it's not close. It's Anthony Richardson of the University of Florida. And he killed the combine. He was amazing there. But this guy said to me, not ready to play yet. That's the issue. You've got to have a veteran guy that he could sit behind and learn, but he has a chance to be a star. Remains to be seen. The first current NFL quarterback to jump off the carousel and find a new home, that's Derek Carr. He got a four-year deal done today with the New Orleans Saints. It's expected to total approximately $150 million with $100 million guaranteed. The New York Giants are trying to close a deal with their quarterback, Daniel Jones, reportedly worth $160 million over four years. It is not yet a done deal. They could use the franchise tag on him, but if the Giants get the four-year deal done with Jones, they're expected to use the tag on running back Saquon Barkley if he rejects the long-term deal they have on the table for him. Both sides reportedly far apart. Also, the Ravens expected to use the non-exclusive franchise tag. There's two different ones. On Lamar Jackson, the non-exclusive allows him and his agents to shop him to other teams. If they get a big deal... They come back to the Ravens. They can either match or let them walk for multiple number one picks. Bulls off until Wednesday when they play the Nuggets in Colorado. And check out this note. Bulls now 11-22 in clutch games this season. Those are games defined as within five points with five minutes to play. That's tied for third fewest with the Pistons and ahead of only the Rockets and Spurs. That's among the absolute worst teams, folks, in the NBA. A year ago, the Bulls were 25-16 and 16 in such games last season per Casey Johnson of NBC Sports Chicago. Anything breaks, we'll have it here for you on the channel. Please smash that subscribe button. Appreciate you greatly. A lot of football news. Take that.